Okay, Loot Tree, the Spell Chaser. Could be something. Fire Prophecy is just great. Grim Dancer is pretty good. None of our cards are actually that good. Maybe Fire Prophecy is actually the best card we have here. We're, we're going to pick Lutri, though, because that's pretty tight. We're passing a good card to the left in these colors. All right. Other other potential picks if this weren't here. I feel like I feel like it would just be Fire Prophecy. If not Fire Prophecy, Divine Arrow's nice. Grim Dancer's nice. Let's get a loot tree. All right. In here we see a Pacifism, which is quite good. Blitz Leech is quite good. Frerishing Fox. This is kind of a build around card for um, Boros cycling. But I don't like build around cards. I like cards that are just in and of themselves good. Exuberant Wolf Bear is just like a solid little card. This is a solid card. Blitz Leech is a solid little card. I think I'm just going to be picking the Blitz Leech. Locked in and of itself is good. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1, which is never that exciting. And maybe it becomes a 3-3. Three, three, which is, like, okay. Here, I'll keep looking at the top card of your library and put it in your graveyard. Oh, yeah, this is the ramp enchantment that does nothing for us. <laughs> Easy prey. Got it. Proud Whittlebonder. Oh, yeah. Creatures you control with trample can just deal damage to the face. I think I want to take the easy prey. It's just super, 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 super solid removal with cycling. Wild Bonder seems very excellent. I think that's it. Ram through I also kind of like. It's pretty fun. It's just a fight effect. I'm not a fight effect. Uh, uh, I have a creature turn into a blast effect. I see a second Blitz Leech. I also see a Reconnaissance Mission. We could also just cut black really hard. There's not a lot of other black in this pool, though. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor is pretty nice. Here's my concern. I'm not seeing a lot of other black here. But I think I'm probably going to take this, because this card is actually quite good. Holy shit. First you don't succeed, leech, leech again. Man, I just passed some disgusting blue. I'm going to take another Blitz Leech. Ominous Seas is pretty tight. What the fuck? Alright, blue, like the best blue in the universe was passing my way. Do I want to be black red or something? I've just passed the greatest blue of all time. But this white could just be like black white or something like this and just not run this loot tree. I like Wingfold Terran. I like Patagia Tiger. I I picked the tiger because I was like, damn, I'm out of time. I probably should have gotten the other little baby guy. Look at this. Look at this insanely light essence scatter. I mean, the blue is flowing. But I'm not happy about what my picks are. Wow, Flourishing Fox? Okay. So maybe we actually are black-white. This is weird. I 
I feel like I feel like I'm gonna wind up being white. You know, I still don't know what my second color is, honestly. Well, fuck. I do not know what colors I am. I am black, but I don't know if I'm black-white. I'm gonna pick this guy. Okay, thank God. Okay, who knows? Shark Typhoon, holy shit. saying about not knowing what colors I am? Still don't know. Nothing in the black is screaming to me. We still don't know. We're probably not green. Could be blue. Could be black blue. Could be black white. Crab Battler, 2750 bits. Damn Crab Battler. Thanks, Crab. I don't actually have, like, a lot of mutation. Cavern Whisperer is actually pretty sick. What the hell do I pick? I, I actually guess this one. Everything keeps being really challenging. I'm going to get the Dire Tactics. Doing some sort of splash here. A Triome in half of our colors. This helps. This helps us solidify into white. Probably just splashing for Shark Typhoon. Essence Scatter is real fucking good, though. I mean, maybe we just cut all the white and we just splash for a Divine Arrow, splash for Dire Tactics, and we're way controlly. Yes, yeah, Essence Scatter is a very, very good card. M my struggle is not knowing what my second color is still. Put Lutrian Companion, it costs nothing. It won't work, because it says each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. We're running three Blitz Leeches. I don't want it. Let's get it out of there so it doesn't distract us. Whisper Squad. Mm. That's a very good removal spell. Let's just let's just be like a no creatures deck, man. Let's just let's just not have any creatures. Swallow hole. Okay, Jesus. Yeah, I think black white's open. It's looking like it's a black white, very slow deck. I think we have like five creatures. Nine creatures. Whoo, never mind. I'm I'm great. Oh yeah, and I guess ten. Yeah. A fox. Not entirely sure how we do anything other than kill creatures. Oh, I 
think it's actually memory leak because I need some more cycling cards. I think I actually have like a lot of removally dudes. Yeah, Patagia Tiger, let's go. Bam, pow. I'm very pleased with our Patagia Tiger pick early on. Yeah, I think I just need a human and a non-human. Huh. Do I have a good mix of those? Got like a human? A pair of humans? Let me get the snare tactician. Tight. Might not run this, but I don't think I want two mutual aids. I am going to be so annoying. We are back and into something good here. Okay. Does Yorian help us? Does Yorian actually help us here? Probably. What are what is our enter the battlefield effects? Blitz leeches. It's a four five flyer. Great. Yep, four five flyer is good. Four five flyer. We're we're ju we're just not blue. We're just not blue. We might splash for a Shark Typhoon, but I, I, it's increasingly even looking like I'll cut that. Okay. Ten K gold is refund for last run. It looks like it. It's Corpse Charm. Put the top three cards in. Yeah, this is this is really what we're looking for. Is more targets for our mutates. Oh my god, we we are actually killing this draft. We are we are we are crunching. Fight as one is probably probably incredible for us. That's a tricky pick. Uh, it's pack five, pick five. Whisper Squad's gonna wheel. Is it Vulpakeet? I think it might be Vulpakeet. We have a lot of removal. Flyers are just nice in that position. Infinite Whisper Squads or another checkpoint officer. Yeah, tap downs. Uh, we're looking for cyclers as well. Because I have three snare tacticians. Or I me, I have two snare tacticians. Oh my god, it's our first pick where everything actually sucks. This is great. Night... Ow. Mare Pangolin. <whistles> Jesus. J Jesus. I'm probably also gonna. Is this that actually? Is it? Is that actually that good? I'll try it. I, I mean, I, I really don't know. There's a lurking dead eye we didn't pick up. That's very good with our sort of humanish deck. I mean, I, I think there's like two more whisper squads coming. Just pack pack my deck full of whisper squads. Yeah. See now, like. Uh, Ooh, do I want another cycling? I already have a mutual destruction. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna get that many mutual destructions. I think maybe I I can do like a halfsy halfsy, sort of like some mutation. Oh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little mutation, you know, what are you gonna do? 
I think the snare tacticians, we don't quite have enough cycle for the snare tacticians to function properly. And we got a number of acceptable three drops. We'll, we'll take a peek at the end. I, I need to use the restroom again. Guys, I love fluids. Drinking coffee, drinking water. That's about it. I swear. I swear. If any of you are having some of the unexplainable blues. I should get our bush meat. Card drawing. Forbidden friendship. Ranking claws. Snarly, snarly, snarly. All right, shark, shark, shark typhoon. All right, let's cut all the obvious ones right now. All right. Can't believe we didn't get a bunch of whisper squads at the end. Okay. I have oh, this guy gets out. Fuck. I know, dude, just get out of it. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone, game. Uh maybe I don't want this one. What the fuck? Where's where this filter? Oh, Jesus. I clicked something in. Let's pull out all of our combat trickery stuff. I think I was right about the snare tacticians. This guy seems just like solid. Volpaquit. Uh, we want to make sure we have some low-end cheat mutation-y targets. This is the one that actually feels not good. I think I, 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 this one... Fuck this loser. I need, like, a human base to work with. Checkpoint officers are actually very good control tools for us. We're not super fast. He's trying, Sean. He's not trying hard enough. I hate him. He's evil. He's bad. I think this is this is kind of what we're going for. This is kind of what we're going for, yeah. Here, here is the basic look of our deck. Ooh, this could be a good mutate target, though. Let's get in one of these, then. Okay. I think we're not going to miss... Okay, so he here's why I don't think we need Lurking Deadeye. We have three Blitz Leeches, man. 
We have three of them. So why do I want what is effectively a worse Blitz Leap? Blitz, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, a flyer that buffs humans. I now kind of want to put in a bunch of humans. A flyer that can... I mean, there's not really terrifically many... ETB effects that matter, but this is a 4-5 flyer that can occasionally flicker in these expensive ones occasionally. But then we have a 2-3 flyer. This one can sack our creatures and draw. So I'm sort of like, I have a fodder base. I have a fodder base. And then I can, like, Dire Tactics to exile stuff. I can Swallow Hole to tap some things. Also exiling. I have some Indestructibility that I can put on my humans early and my non-humans. Yeah, I mean... I actually don't think it affects anything. Other than, like, letting me untap stuff. So let's see here. Let's start placing our things around. Yeah, the swallow hole and the fight is one really makes me want to have this low end indestructibility and bush meat poacher allows us to hunt out the whisper squads. I kind of wish I had a third whisper squad. Dire tactics is not. Oh my god, I know game. How do I turn this stupid companion thing off? Get out of here. squad is something you'd love to see. Now we could also do is we could just put in some other humans. Like maybe burp, burp, and then we put in like burp. Maybe even just a day squad marshal. Yeah, maybe, maybe I like this. If I'm planning on being defensive. Do I just cut all the one drops? I think maybe maybe not. Yeah, I don't I don't think Shark Typhoon's really worth it. <laughs> Snare Tactician is a human. That's the reason I kind of want it. This does have more ways. Yeah, th th this is a actual control card. I'm thinking cut this and put in a Lurking Dead Eye maybe. This is this is not a deck where we're just looking to smoothly curve out. We have some some bumpiness that we can do. Is there anything that like produces small baby creatures? Whatever. I think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to keep this as is. Human monsters, something like this. All right, here it is. Hum humans and monsters. Ah, snarl. All right.
Firing it up. Using the... No, I'm gonna use rest room real fast. Stay. All right. All right. This is... a little weird. I'm worried we don't actually have enough low-end chump action. Maybe, maybe more Whisper Squads would be nice. go. I'm doing it. I am doing it, everybody. Never didn't have it. Swallow hole feels good. Now I have fight as one. And if I get another Lando. Our deck functions very slowly. Very, very slowly. This is sorcery speed, yes. Yep. It's mole time. Good job, mole. So we see a blue, huh? A humble naturalist. Okay, so my opponent is going to try to rampy bampy. I mean, this is an obvious play, but that's fine. I want to clear it out. So, I mean, like, we have some small pokey things. But we are one that tries to win very slowly. <laughs> An humble naturalist. Watch this. This can tap a creature, which enables fight as one. Or not fight as one, excuse me, enables swallow hole. Play something huge, Space Cadet. Gotcha. Mm -mm -mm. So we see mostly green. I don't know if it's splashing black or splashing blue. Can't tell yet. Swallow a hole. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I mean, we have like four flyers. Ooh, you may cast from the graveyard. Well, I mean, this is great news. I just tap this guy. Yep. Yeah, go ahead and tap that, and then let's go ahead and swallow a hole. This guy. This guy. Got him. And that's exiled. That is not killed to be recast again. That is just straight exiled. I'm telling you, when we win with this deck, we're going to win slowly. Checkpoint Officer was really exciting me as we were seeing that pair of Swallow Holes. Swallowed Hole is a disgustingly good card. Okay, so Space Cadet has ramping and fixing. Fixing. A whole bunch of multicolored things. More ramping and fixing. Whoa!
I should have done this in the other order, but that's okay. That is okay. Okay. Well, shit. I guess it didn't even matter. See, I, I, I did it in this order, or I, I'm not in this order. I'm trying to do this play where I set up a fight as one. Because this is a... Okay. So I don't want to take one billion damage. I may have to. Let's have trample. Take 13. I think I'll need a little bit of time here. So I'll block like this. I feel like a slow win is coming to us. That's a good mole. Yeah, that was this was a good decision. What is our opponent going to do? Can you give me a super quick TLDR of Mutate? It's basically a way to enchant your creatures. It's basically a way to enchant your creatures. Instead of casting the creature, I can like enchant the existing creature with some of the benefits of the old creature. Alright, we're looking good. We're looking good. bestow then more or less it it isn't but that's how I would begin to think about it <laughs> it's a shark Do I need a chump here? Maybe not. Well, that is a fucking pain in the ass. This can untap for two. So. Looks like I can tap it like one billion times. Pretty proud of how we were able to perform with very little tools. Oh, fuck. I made a mistake. I didn't. I forgot this fucking guy has menace. Crap. Shit. Rats. 
Ah, man. This card's way better than I thought. Maybe I should put two of them in here. So I'm obligated to do this. Hmm. Man, that, that would have been a really nice card because it would have mutated, forced the discard, and then swung in for lethal. That's nice. All right, a harder deck. For a tougher man. <laughs> our opponent make you a mistakey. But then maybe our opponent does not make you a mistakey. These fucking guys having trample are a problem. Oh, nice. <laughs> Putting this guy in. How slow is your deck? It's fucking slow. Dum, bum, do, 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 do. I actually think our deck is probably better without the fox if we just if we slow this down. Why did we trade the Vulpkeet into the Great Shark instead of for, instead of the four four? Because uh, we would have died. We had not enough health. We would have just immediately died. So we had to block the five mana thing. One did three damage, one did five damage. If we blocked the three damage one, we had four health, we dead. Let's say we didn't block it. Lost our poor sweet Vulpakeet that could have swung in for lethal. <sighs> God, that Lucky Bear emote is good, isn't it, Froze? It is good, good, good. on to it. Let's see how good the Dranith Healer can make it work. Any plans to continue playing Factorio after tomorrow, tomorrow's launch? I have one plan in life and one plan alone, and that's to stream Factorio tomorrow. Factorio is just so good, dude. I love Factorio. That, that game is real nice. Well, it might be a little bit of time, but that's fine. Odie says, oh, you need to shave, Sean. Miss the clean shave in day nine. Well, you may have to miss me for even longer. Please notice Odie, Sean. He's spamming the chat. Odie, you beautiful, desperate, attention-clogged human. <laughs> How are you, man? What a good mole. Sora's opponent bonked on the lands. Nah, I've all been wilds. It is I, a necropantha. You know, I think this is a better play. I permit my opponent to swing 
and I try to play the Cavern Whisperer first. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whenever this creature mutates, you can return a card. Yeah, I'm sorry, it doesn't, the order didn't matter. But this is, that's whatever. It's, it's just like, it's just like whatever, okay? Do you understand me? It is just like whatever. Yeah! Bang! Yeah, I'm, I'm shaving, I'd probably say, once every, like, five days right now. A, fer a fertilid. It's me, the mean ace. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, who who here has just completely bombed on their sleep schedule and they're like shaving and their laundry and all their chores? That is all fine. Let's do this, and do this, and do this. Let's play the Snare Tactician. And because we have this great card, Swallow Hole, let's exile this and tap this. Isn't that nice? Oh, Yarly says, I sleep when I'm tired. Ophistian says, my dishes are the biggest thing suffering, unfortunately. Anita says, been up past 4 a.m. every day, let no laundry in three weeks. Yeah, dude. Figbirds, the sleep has been a roller coaster, but I think I made a note of that enough. <laughs> Coffee mutes as Jiruta keeps me up at night. <laughs> now we have some choices, don't we? Our opponent can double block here. If our opponent doth want. Do I shoot for a blitz leech? Casual Zari says, I mean, the absolutely butchered sleep pattern has made it possible for me to watch you live quite consistently. Hell yeah, Casual Zari. Ah, yes, silver lining and everything. Mm 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 mm. Thanks again, Ghosty. I've updated it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nice. Our chances, who's your favorite SC2 pro to watch right now? Ooh, cool. Dang it! Surprise! Awesome. is a little one. Oh wait, this was free damage. Whoopsie dang dipsy. Whoopsie dang dipsy. So our opponent is hoping to just take a trip to get their city. Huh? Is what's really going on here, huh? Wait, why does it deal 12 damage? Oh my god! That's right! Ah! Whatever. We deserve to lose. Oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, this. Uh, this. I don't want you. But. I do want you. 
Where's my discardy guy? Yeah. Let's play again. Oh, Bosh doubles it up. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I um, I think we had a lot of good tools against that specifically with uh, our three exile effects. And I made, I mean, we had a win in the first game that I just forgot that this that this bastard had Mienus. This bastard. So I'm not terrifically torn up about anything. I still think our deck is pretty sweet, so we can probably go 2-1, which would be a 3-0. A destined to be 3-0 that punished us, which was was totally tragic. I thought I had a three mana card in here. It's me, your Vulpa Keep friend. Pa pow. Yeah. Uh, no blocks. I wonder if I have any Healy Dealies in this deck. Good help. Okay. I think it's good to have dudes on the board. I think it's good to have dudes on the board. Welcome back. Vulpakeet, a mix between a vulpine and a parakeet. Vulpine, I learned, is a foxy guy. Foxy dude. You know, my cat actually sleeps so soundly that I often just look for her breathing to make sure that she's still alive. It's a little thing I do, me and my baby girl. All right, well. Welp. I wish I was playing faster. I wish I had a deck that was able to kick ass in a more consistent fashion. Is this what I want to do, or do I play the Cavern Whisperer? I think I just do this and leave the mana open. very emotional for me right now. A bog nipper. This is getting a little tricky. safe attack. I think this is pretty safe. This is pretty safe. Maybe three Blitz Leeches was a little too much to start off with. I've liked Blitz Leech as something to curve into when I have some more creaturey, deechery dues. dos 
so fairly obvious blocks right if it's the thing that turns off combat damage for me that's okay um Super fine. Hooray. Alright, Blitz Leech on Blitz Leech action, baby. do this now just to see what winds up becoming of it and it's not a thing at all big thumbs up uh, oh a bush meat poacher huh your good old bush meat poacher all right well we'll mutate on yorian Let's make the big one on top. Get, get your cards gone, my friends. A hard-fought game between two O and one people. <laughs> Both of our decks feel so clumsy. <laughs> oh look, it's Obosh again. Obvious block for your obvious pal, Dana. Oh, you love to see it. Maybe it's that Flash guy now. Yeah. Oh, let's get Flash Johnson in there. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Mag 3? How does companion work? Companion cards are cards that can just go in your deck normally. Or, if you have certain conditions on your deck met, you can put one in your sideboard and cast it from the sideboard. <clears throat> yeah. It's time for the slowest sequence known to man. Sick value. Oh my god, that value is fucking sick. I wish to tap this. That card is very good. For one mana, too. Goodness. I can probably fight as one for lethal. I can just tap that. Let's 
so like this. Yeah. Here I come. <laughs> Clumsy friends unite. I think maybe I've learned my lesson. Like hell I have. Oh yeah, keeping it in. Let's keep our clumsy clonker deck, huh? <laughs> yeah, alright. Feeling positive about stuff. Dude, look at this. I have a three, a four, and a five mana play. And I have a two mana play. Somehow we got there. That's the kind of enthusiasm I love about this community, Shav. Okay, man. Oh, look at this little boot nip nipper. He's just nipping into boots. Any word that sounds like nipple makes me chuckle. I expect you to die. All right. Here comes the flying vulpa key. Bam. No attacks. None at all, man. None at all. Now that I have some semblance of a curve, I look sure super smart, huh? Uh-oh, guess what? It's time for some mutation. I'm gonna go with the underdog story. Bam, bam. Instead of having two, two, three flyers, I now have one, four, five flyer. That's the kind of vulnerability I crave in a protagonist. not good. But it also doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter at all. Oh, you want to do that? You know what? I'll allow it. I'll let it in. You know what? I do a little damage, you do a little damage, mage. the right move. Yeah, be, be strong. It's over for you. You know what, Karuga? You've worked hard. You deserve to hurt me. You de he deserves it, you know? <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Night Squad Commando, oh, you're tough. This is actually like both a lot and not a lot of damage. Survivor's Bond, oh, a little boot nipper. Welcome back. Welcome back, it's good to see you. Welp, it's time for me to swallow. This one whole. Bam. Submit. Bing bong. Alright, I'll probably tap one thing down. Maybe our Vigilant Slanty, huh? My attempted portmanteau of Vigilante and Vigilance. I deliver top quality entertainment here, huh? Okay. You know what? No chance of death here. No chance. And is that the W? Is that the W? Is there not a creature in sight that can block? Is there not a creature in sight that can block? Oof. 
Yeah, that one. Oh, shit. Oh, no, and the dude gains one health for vigilance? Oh, my God. We need a mutator. Well, I will say that this is this is certainly bad. But that's okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to tap this down. Bam! Boom! I'm going to swing in with a pair of flyers. Watch this. Bam! Pow! Snare tacticians feel terrible in this deck. I'm going to make them cheaper cards. Come on. They're just, they're just bad three drops is what they are. Just bad ones. We're going we're gonna to put some more baby, baby humans in here, man. Maybe a single Whisper Agent. Who has the Life Lock? Okay. I don't fucking have enough mana for a Blitz Leech. You ever heard that saying that you want to let your opponent make mistakes? You know what? You know why? You know why that's suggested? Do you know why that gets suggested? Sometimes people make mistakes. Crazy. I know. Whatever. Let's put an alert in Dead Eye Man. Let's put in the insatiable hemophage. <laughs> Damn it. Remove one Blitz Leech, not a chance, Casual Zari. We overvalued it early. We gotta keep overvaluing it till it pays off. What do we think about this? Looks okay to me. This is probably getting cycled. Alright. Blitz Leeches only seem good as like a curve out in the top end. Of course, I knew I was getting there. Never question. Destruction. Mm, there it is. The sunken cost fallacy incarnate. Man, that's all I am about, baby. Look at this. Look at this load of nothing that we're both doing. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. The ever deadly boot nipper. Oh fuck yes. There he is, the daybreak marshal. A 3-3 three, three and a 1-1, one, one, a powerful effect as any. Look at look at look at Mage just getting stuck. And watch your pal Sean getting unstuck. Here it is. Bam, there it is. Pow. Going in. Boom. You can block it. You only got life points, right? Yes, there it is. Victory incarnate. Mm. Survivor's Bond, welcome back, guys. want to see some pretty sick tactics here watch this I play this flyer I flicker this and this mm-hmm mm-hmm here it comes and you know what this human did a good job he gets he gets buffed again kaboom never ever question my deck building again Oh, it feels... It is relieving. It is relieving to be this good. Let me also get rid of Snare Tactician, because that card did hurt. Hurt to had... How many creatures do we have? We have 16 creatures? Maybe I want a Memory Leak, you know? Maybe that's, maybe that's the card that I've been looking for all along. Whoops. Click on this. Here we go. The warm embrace of being amazing. Oh, any of this. That's why I am my own best friend. <laughs> I love me so much. When I have conversations, I just walk right over to the mirror and fire one up. This, this hand looks pretty mediocre. Let's go ahead and hang on to it. 
Okay. La Mano Didio says, Building decks like you know shit. Damn, you're good. Screw you. I love you. That's it. You know exactly. <laughs> you've got Sam MTG says, You've taught me that being confident will success into existence. You know, I kind of, I kind of do believe that. It's, it's less the idea of arbitrary confidence and more just that I don't care that much if it goes badly and I'm always willing to, like, you know, try some nonsense out. The power of positive thinking. Yeah, you know, because I kind of feel like m most of life is actually random. Oh, shit. But that's what I wanted to do. Gonna get rid of my swallow hole. You think, like, m most of what's happening in the world is random. And so, in a sense, like, yeah, luck does have a good amount to do with it. But I find that the ones that are most... Who, like, you know, who are the, like, I worked hard and I got ahead in life. It's less that they didn't get lucky and worked hard. It's more that they got lucky, but then they were willing to, like, grab onto it. And put in the work to optimize it because I mean I I have no illusions about the fact that you know a whole lot of me having a streaming career is luck baby I happened to be starting to do live stream videos around the time that Starcraft 2 happened to be getting released and it also happened to be that there was a games focused streaming service that would launch two years later called Twitch. Yeah, this was this was long before I streamed on Justin TV, all this stuff. I mean it's it's just like it's just kinda hilariously. Lucky. Not lucky in that I <laughs> not lucky in that the thousands of hours of content that I created while really not making very much money. Well, I'm not saying that that part... Menace. I'm not saying that that part was luck. But it is like... Well, yeah, no, I mean, I... I was able to do a whole bunch of shit as a result of all that stuff. Hey, Windowhead. A happy Thursday to you. Happy Thursday, Windowhead. We're having a good day. I can't believe he's done this. Yeah, this, this will not interact with that, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Omni once it's refreshing to hear someone acknowledge that hard work alone doesn't always get it done. It's definitely important and hard to succeed without it, but just because someone works hard, it doesn't mean things will work out. Yeah, right? All right. Man, I really want this guy to just become tapped. I just want this to be a, a, a tapped person. Feel like a tapped person. Alright, let's speed this game up. Snarl. Coming at you.
Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I, I almost I was almost surprised. I was almost surprised. You love to see it. Speeding up of the game appears to have worked. Goodbye, my many swallow holes. Xavier X25 really likes to leak our memories out, you know? Xavier K25 is not actually doing the most. Well, farts. I'm cycling this shit now. Excellent! Party time. Probably Death Touch Lifelink, yeah. <laughs> Sean C. Bose says, Saber 25 used to code in Java. Now he codes in C and doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> That Oni says, I've literally been playing this game for two years now. I've been making do with on paltry gold sums and the slow drip feed of dailies to try to make decks. I'm doing this for so long, yet everyone I see on YouTube and Twitch has billions of golds and tons of gems, and I don't understand how. I mean, truly, truly. A big part of it is just that I spend 200 bucks the instant every set comes out. But also, a lot of those streamers win a shitload. That's it. Like, if you draft a ton... Um, if you draft a ton, you can just get, like, a good amount of gems. Like, I know, like, uh, there's a number of streamers that go infinite in drafts. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, if you are looking to do what top, top, top players do... Which would be... Oh, that's bad news for us. Alright, well... Let's speed this game up. Yeah, I mean, Magic the Gathering works perfectly well if you want to go free-to-play and there's, like, two or so decks you have in mind and you're putting in a lot of grind. Um, but if you want to have access to, like, the full collection and be able to build any deck you want, um, yeah, I think, I think you're just literally going to need to spend some money. The only other alternative is to become extremely good at graphs. Graphs? What the heck? Drafts. Drafts. So our dude knows that attacking is not great. Drafts. Oh no! Nope. Bing, bong, bang, boom. I've done the mathematics. Holy shit. The math says that we're fucking dead, dude. No! Oh. Well, how much land I draw? This is like five. And I didn't really draw anything that was all that useful. Hard for me to take any responsibility for this. I mean, come on. Man, I'm not even emotionally attached to this deck. Get out of here! Uh, uh, uh. There's
there's an alternative bill which would have been like lower end more humans more cycling I think I could probably remove all the mutate creatures that's actually probably the better build Max says what would you do if you hadn't if your streaming didn't succeed I would have started a game studio with one of my graduate uh, buddies my grad school buddies I went from math degree into interactive media for my master's degree. See, look at, look at, you know that I had that timing in mind. You know that I did. <sighs> Why not? You know what? Let's just, let's just careen into the end. You guys, did you decide to do interactive media and do USC before you ever start doing dailies? Yes. My first daily was October 22nd, 2009. And I started... My graduate program in 2008. Hey, great googly moogly. It is both great and googly and moogly to see you, dude. I think I just needed to have, like, way lower end on the curve, man. So I was in grad school. Like, I actually kind of had a funny... <laughs> we're so fucked. I had a funny initial experience at uh, USC because I was sort of used to the Harvey Mudd pace, which is... Very breakneck. Very douche it, douche it, douche it, douche it. Go, 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 go. Like, tons of work, tons of um, deadlines, volume, triage, all that shit. And when, you, when I went to, from a technical program, again, I got a math degree in my undergrad, and then I went to an interactive media slash games program for grad school, a lot of creative programs, I came to learn, do not try to assign you a lot of work. They try to have classes that are supporting classes and clear a path for you to be able to devote time that you want to your major and your degree. Or not to your, your major, to your creative projects. All right, yeah, we did it. Everything is okay now. Everything is fine. I'm Bonner's Enclave is shitting on us. So when I was at my first year of grad school, I sort of like would finish all my work so early because I like knew how to do that. Ooh, yeah. No blocks. There it is. Bam. Bang. bang. Let's, get, let's get another Lando Calrissian out of there, man. Let's get the Landys. The handy Landy. Fuck. Oh my god, my swallow hole's gone. Just, you know what? Give me the one-two. I, I, I want it. I want the one-two to happen to me. Perfect. Give me that prize. 